another day. It's another episode. J and J every day. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. How y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing good, man. It's your boy Jason. Here with my partner, JC. Let's dive into a man. No gunshots today. No gunshots. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, you definitely right, man. You definitely right, man. Let's get this back, gunshots, man. Welcome to J and J every day. There we go. Hey. <laughs> J and J every day we're here, we're with y'all. You know what's so funny? You used to be annoyed by the gunshots. I know. I used to hate <laughs> gunshots. Now I'm a I'm a gunshot enthusiast, man. I need them gunshots. You tell me to chill out Word. on the gunshots. And I need them now, man. Well, today, what is it, the twenty second? Yeah. Yes, sir. Um right now, right now, it's NBA scrimmages. That's how that's what it's come to right now, yeah, twenty twenty. We're celebrating some scrimmages. Uh, scrimmages have listen. It's been long awaited. We waited what four or five months for this now. I think it's more than that. Almost. Ah, uh, no, yeah, yeah, four, four or five, five months. months. Yeah, four. Right it feels here. longer. Um, mm. the Clippers right now are booming on the Magic, fifty-three to forty-two. Nothing changes even in uh, scrimmage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the Wizards are still not playing defense as they're getting whooped by the Denver Nuggets, thirty to nineteen. Yes, <laughs> sir. Tonight is gonna be the Pelicans and Brooklyn Nets at seven p.m. Um, Zion's not going to be there, and like four or five of the Knicks Nets players aren't going to be there either. Mm-hmm. Uh, also at eight o'clock is going to be Sacramento Kings versus the Miami Heat, so we'll see how that goes. I'm thoroughly looking forward to them, man. Um, like you said, uh, um, Zion won't be there, so that's a letdown. But still good for the other guys to be able to get their legs under them, and good for the whole country, man. Yeah, basketball. We finally have some know. sports. And we don't have to worry basketball. about, um, you know, the virus over there. They had zero positive zero tests. Zero positive tests. So big shout out and applaud to everybody that's out there, you know, working to keep everybody safe. Shout out to the players for following the protocol. Shout out to the league for making sure they do. Um, tomorrow, though, I mean, kind of some interesting scrimmages. I mean, Dallas and the Lakers. Again, it's just a scrimmage. But hey. Wait, before we get into all of that, man. Oh, man. Thank you guys for uh, listening on Spotify iTunes, um, Apple, Apple, yeah, Apple Podcasts. I know it's YouTube. a lot. I know it's a lot of places. Hey, but on YouTube, everybody needs to subscribe, subscribe on YouTube, subscribe, man. Subscribe, we got to get man. there, man. Subscribe, Plus, subscribe, we definitely got to get there because, man, one of my cousins hey, probably, hey, probably hey. never even listened to one of these yeah, shows. Hanging on us. Say we can't get to 1,000, so you know what? So, we got to get to 1,000, y'all. We got to. Definitely got to prove them wrong. Definitely. We're going to. And so to please. all the new listeners, hey, welcome, man. Welcome. We Alexander off the YouTube. Yep. Thank you very Ms. much, Lamb, man. I see Ms. Lamb. Oh, yeah. Shout Paul, out to Ms. Lamb. Paul, don't say that. You sound like a goose. Shout out to Ms. <laughs> Lamb. But, um, yeah, man, Dallas and the Lakers tomorrow. A little excited matchup. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get their legs under them. But listen, man. I'm going to see Anthony Davis go off, man. Once the season starts, man, this, or once you know the... The playoffs start. Man, this back to back games are going to be crazy. The you know the I just I can't wait for it. Mm-hmm. Um so we'll see where that goes, man. Uh um MVP, all the all the awards, not non stat awards, have are being determined by what transpired prior to the break. So MVP, defensive player of the year, rookie of the year, coach of the year, most improved. Um do you think Giannis gets All defensive that. player and MVP? No, I think I would. Uh, Anthony Davis would have my vote for MVP. Um, I mean, for I was about to say player, for MVP. Whoa! For, uh, shoot, <laughs> listen, I mean, LeBron's taking the cake, but I mean, a case could be made for Anthony Davis. But another story, another day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But um, no, yeah, I would go Anthony Davis for defensive player of the year, man. I know Giannis has been phenomenal. But I, I think uh, what Anthony Davis has done for that Lakers team, um, I know they still got some big men down there, you know, Javel and Dwight. But, man, uh, Anthony Davis, man, he, he's the anchor. He's the anchor down low, and he's been a terror on the perimeter uh, in the paint. So I think Anthony Davis will get that one. Um, just to switch it up a little bit, you know, switch it up. Because I do think Giannis is walking away with that MVP. Definitely. Uh, I believe he's probably taking the defense player and MVP. Uh, yeah, he, he's had a great season, I, man. Yeah, he's had a, one of the a, best seasons we've probably ever seen. Numbers, man. And this is honestly two years in a row running. Um, yeah, being on top of the East, 
Yeah. Like, without anybody even bothering him being uh, number one or n- number two, none of that. He's been... He's dominated the from start to finish. The Bucks have been number one in the East probably for two years straight. From two years, from wire to wire, for yeah. two years now. So, and that, I mean, that's 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 really damn impressive to do. So, I really? definitely think... Um, listen, in these playoffs, I expect them to cruise in these eight games. I don't know if it's naive of me. I don't know if I'm overlooking the break or overlooking the East, but... I mean, Oladipo has said that, you know, he was rethinking not playing, and so he might play. I believe Oladipo is coming back because he, he sees – he's already there. He probably feels better, I think. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Even then, man, I, I'm, the biggest competition I think they're going to have is from the Celtics. Ah, oh, you're sleeping on the Raptors, man. Nah, listen, you told me that all year. You told me all year I'm sleeping on the Raptors. Sleeping on the Raptors. I'm, listen, I, I'm – I'm going to continue sleeping on them. But I, yeah, I, think, no, I, I think had they're the a phenomenal Bucks. regular season I team. had the Bucks since the beginning of the season, since probably last year, going straight Now, one thing to... about the Raptors is they've looked really good in the regular season. But in the preseason, I mean, in the playoffs, I'm just worried that if it slows down, I mean, who – I just can't put all my eggs in the basket on Siakam. Like, I don't know who's their guy. Who are you going to when you need a – you know what I'm saying? Shots aren't there, far. Man. But that's my thing. In the playoffs, you need that guy, though, in my opinion. you And they just don't – they don't got it. In Boston, man, they got two. They got two. Two killers. I'm pretty so, sure, man. We Raptors, gonna, man, they feel like they got a chip on their shoulder. Oh, Everybody's throwing them off again. Definitely. 46 and again, 18 like without Kawhi. Year. 30 and 10 in their and conference. And they've had a big – like big injury problem all season. Huge injury but problem. But now everybody's healthy. Twenty three and nine on the road. Twenty three and nine at home. So they can take it. They they can go to your house. They can go in their house. Um. So you know, being away in Orlando won't. And away from Toronto won't matter to them. I just man, it's just the lack of that at the superstar. But again, that might be my ignorance. We might, like you said, that team committee ball might. Uh. You know, it might really, might really be able to work for them. I'm just a man. When I, Shot clock getting low, play clock getting low. I just like to have that one killer. With, forget the play, forget everything. Just roll the ball out, tell him move out the way. Speaking of all the NBA awards, John mm-hmm. Morant's taking the cake on the Rookie of the Year award, but and he's also gained 12 pounds throughout this uh, like that little it. break. I like it. A yeah, lot of players have like slimmed down. He was a guy that needed to put a little something on him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to be able to, pounds. yeah, take some take some bumps, take some bruises, be a little more physical. Yep. So I like that. I like um, I really like how a lot Very of these players player, he likes to go to the rim. Exactly. And take a little bit more hits while going up there. And he's a yeah, because he's small. He, um, he, he's a small guy. He's not a, you know, He's not a big beefy guy, so I'm uh, glad he's talking he about that. the six man year. I think uh, it's just gonna go to the six man of the century, probably. Uh, Lou Williams, but you had something to say about that. You said Dennis Schroeder, maybe. Yeah, and I also think if not Lou, Lou needs to watch out for his own teammate as well. Um, so if not Lou Williams, I think Montrez Harrell. But I would, I want to, I, I would like to switch it up and go against the grain, and I would like to go Dennis Schroeder, averaging 19 and four off the bench for the um, Oklahoma City Thunder. And I would go Dennis Schroeder because we all expected the Clippers to do what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? We all expected that. But how many of us expected the Oklahoma City Thunder to be Man. tied with the Rockets sitting at five? I hear 40 you. That's a good point with you know Dennis Schroeder, but I'll be putting it on Chris Paul. Because remember, nah, our yeah, I feel you. way in the beginning of the I year. I feel you, but 19-4 and four, and that three-headed, I mentioned it before. Well, I've been real critical of Billy Donovan, but what he did this year when John Morant, Shai Gildas, and Chris Paul are on the floor at the same time, you say that, Morant, I mean, Chris Paul, yeah. uh, 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 Shai Gildas, yeah. there you go. That three-headed line, that, three, that three-headed that point guard lineup, man, Big shout out to Billy Donovan. It's wreaked havoc on teams. Don't know what to do with those three guys on the on the floor. But I, I'll go Dennis Schroeder because again, yeah, you put it on Chris Paul, but you can't overlook nineteen and four coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and helping relieve Chris Paul and uh, uh, what's on his plate. So I, I'll go. I'll go with Dennis Schroeder. Nineteen and four off the bench. OKC right now, forty and twenty-four. Um, sitting there at the fifth seed. I'll go down the shoulder because, um, um, again, most of us wrote off OKC. Big shout out to those who didn't, but most of us wrote them off. And Chris Paul has been a huge part of that. But that Dennis Schroeder has been just as big. You take away his nineteen and four off the bench, they're not. I, I don't. Chris Paul's phenomenal, but they're not sitting at forty and twenty four. Um, so I go, I go Dennis. 
Back to that combo at the beginning of the year, though. I know you're probably not going to change your position on it, though, because the, the question was Trey Young or Chris Paul, and I was like, man, I'll take Chris Paul because of his uh, – his uh, 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 just leadership, yeah, but you know what he's gonna bring better, to the yeah. team. What he's gonna bring to the team, and it showed this year, man. Yeah, it, it definitely did. Tough uh, Western Conference. I still would probably take Trey, but no, I cannot argue with that at all because I mean, listen, the, the, I just told you, forty and twenty four, tied with the Rockets, um, above Dallas. You feel me? Again, now, that's Chris can we Paul. say Chris Paul can be a comeback player of the year or no? Because he had a good year last, last year, right? Or was he? I mean, he was kind of injured, but I mean, yeah, but he had a good. He, he, it was yeah, a good team nah. year, not individually, but yeah. even this year, it's just still a team year, not individually. But yeah, he's know. had a phenomenal year, but the guys around him have stepped up as well. Who would be the comeback player? Yeah. They, they don't be having. They be having a comeback player. I know they got. They Mr. I know they got most approved player. Oh, that's probably what it was. Yeah, and on that sense, hmm, who would be that? Who is the most improved? I mean, you can go maybe Pascal Siakam. But he Wouldn't it be over. his third year in a row or my trip? I mean, if you keep getting better and better each year drastically, are you not? Did he already get two in a row yeah, or my trip? Think, uh, I, th- I know he's gotten one. I know he's gotten one. I don't think he's gotten two in a row. But, I mean, listen, if you keep improving year after year, I mean, look, is it your fault that you're improving more than these guys? I think maybe Brandon Ingram, but he did uh, – he did fall off a little no, bit. You know, one's a, uh, a good pick right there. He did fall off a little bit. Um, okay, there you go. Um, I would. I, I got my pick right here. I would go Bam out of bio. I'm yeah. sorry, totally forgot Definitely. about the kid. But I, I he, he's hey, man, a household no. name. Hey, it's been four or five months. Like yeah, said, yeah. Man. I was like, whoa, he's um he's definitely developed himself into a household name, kind of like a point center too. I've seen him bring the ball up at 16, 10, and five. So he's crashing the boards. He's a three-level scorer. You know, he can hit the outside shot. Um, but, I mean, scary score. the five uh, 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 the five for me is what's sticking out, the five assists. Where, you know, some bigs, and that's a big thing, um, you can double team them in the post, man, because they can't pass out the paint. You know, you get the double team. Joel, Joel uh, B has been a guy that folks have been critical of, um, his passing out of the post. You got a guy like this, well, you, got, you ain't got to worry about that. 5.1 assists this season, man. That's a huge jump from where he was last year. So, I definitely go. Um, I'm, I'm going to go Bam out of bottom. Speaking of the center position, I have the Spurs are moving Rudy Gay to the, to the five. Whew. Trying to work on small ball, I guess. Um, I mean, look, LaMarcus Aldridge out for the year, correct? Yeah, LaMarcus Aldridge done. I mean, they're just they're trying anything right now. They're trying to get an edge. Rudy at the five, DeMar at the three. I mean, I guess you're gonna run them to death, but I don't. I don't see. Uh, I don't see it working. I'm sorry. Uh, I think the Spurs are gonna be a uh, 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 light work. I think they're gonna, you know, quick work is gonna be made out of them. They'll be sent home packing very soon. Um. Are we done with basketball today right now? Are we done with basketball today? Yeah, we are, man. We I don't that's all. Listen, we're just waiting for um to watch these scrimmage games, bro. The NFL finally decided on um being clean after every uh quarterback and every player had to uh, finally antagonize. They were trying them. to test players every other day and just that I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, it's gonna be daily the first two weeks and then um every other day I think after that. Um, they won't have any preseason because there's no point in having a preseason, especially during this thing. Come on, get the game going. Do you think that's going to start a trend, like um, no more preseason in the future? I think they're going to – they'll see how this goes. I think it might. Um, I think after this, uh, they definitely open Pandora's box. I'll let you know that. Um, I'll tell you one thing, though. Them rookies are going to have, like, a, a shock the first game. Cause, oh, like, rookie yeah. Rookie quarterbacks, like – Priest, listen, preseason now, matters. You Joe Burrow, now here just your first game actually Baptism matters. by fire, baby. Baptism by, but again, remember. Your first snap matters. The um, playoff field is expanded this year as well. Um, this is the first year that, you know, we had that, that expanded playoff field. So that'll be interesting too. But whoa, this makes week one and week two. This makes like the first five weeks even more exciting because we're going to be seeing some baptism by fire. Wide receivers, corners, tight ends, O-line. All these rookies going to be in for a surprise. <laughs> they don't know. All of them. 
Um, the Zoom meetings are not going to be anything like that. Game, you can't rep even because even the preseason. Yeah, it's a nice little warm up and it introduces you, but even you can't even. That's still nothing like game one of the regular season. There's nothing, and now you don't even have preseason. Oh, man, um, to your point, the Joe Burrows of the world, um, you know, wide receivers, running backs, old linemen, it's everybody. Baptism by fire, man. Put Buckle that chin strap. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be really quick. Even the great college players that that can't come from big schools or whatever. It's they hard. Say, it's they hard. say the first difference is the speed of the game. It's just, that's the major difference from the – yeah, that's the, all I've ever heard is the speed, the speed, the speed, the speed. And now you're being thrown and it's not a preseason game. It's – this game matters. Game one. Game one. Straight up. During the pandemic, stadium probably will be empty. Yeah. This is going to be, um, wow. Well, good luck, rookies. You can tell your grandkids about this one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at the time I was baptized by fire, veteran defense and Michael Bennett retiring after 11 seasons, man. Okay. Three-time pro ball with 69 and a half career sacks. And capture the Super Bowl ring, man. He's hanging it up. Hanging it up. He's joining his brother, the Bennett brothers, are out of the NFL. Uh, speaking of retiring, uh, Antonio Brown retired again. <laughs> well, I did not know that. When did this happen? Man, nobody pays attention to Antonio yeah, Brown when this, anymore. <laughs> when did this come of? Uh, it was a couple days ago. Uh, he just was posting some tweets and nobody's cared about him. We moved on to Kanye tweets now. Yeah, <laughs> so he retired. He, he retired again now. Okay. Yeah, um, nobody cares, bro. Nobody was going to sign you, sadly. Yeah, uh, I don't think anybody was. Especially um, not during this, um, during this coronavirus time. Mm -hmm. Nobody has time to even talk about that right now. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, nobody, none of the GFs even want to include all of that. But uh, moving on, um, unless you have something else to say on NFL. I was going to ask you, what do you think about them allowing players to put social justice decals on their helmet? No, do you even hear that? I, I, already know, I already heard it. I'm just... Um, it's approved. I don't know because, look, man. I hate it. They don't ever even do anything I in real it. life about, about social justice. I don't like it. About that. I don't they, like it. They, I, you know what I'm saying? They outed um, Colin Kaepernick, and we it's already know about that, over just kneeling over... Over social justice, they still don't ever even mention the social justice in him. They still talking about this flag thing, mm -hmm. like we even care. Bro, I don't, I don't like it at all. Um, I think there's too much symbolism going on, man. What is, is this? It's too much going on, man. Is it, what, what are the decals doing? What, what are they really doing here? Um, I don't like it. I think it's, it's for show, just it's to say sure. that we did something here. We did something. Y'all be happy about it now, so. Yeah, I, I really don't like it, man. Especially coming... Even if they do spend the check or do something, like, man, I don't know. Yeah, they really dropped the ball a couple years ago with this whole Colin Kaepernick thing. And now they if they want to make face. it up, just start doing stuff. Just start getting in the community. Start, you feel me? Start, but I don't need, uh, I don't need this. I don't, I don't need this. The, the, no, nah, this is, it's going to make it a... I don't know, man. It's just becoming well, so They need to worry about making it becoming so safer. commercialized. Yeah, it's just becoming real commercialized. Like, it's a gimmick. It's the cool thing to do. No, I just, I don't like it at all. So, that's where I stand on that one. And Jets owner Woody Johnson, man. Uh, where do you think going to come from this, man? Where do you think going to come? Nothing? Uh, Fine. Just a little slap on the wrist. So, he's being we'll accused of... Yeah, Jets Allen Woody Johnson is being accused. Um, he's being a, a, a investigated for alleged racist and sexist comments. He's under investigation by um, a State Department watchdog following allegations that he made racist and sexist comments while serving as an ambassador to the United Kingdom and sought to have the Open Championship played at a golf resort owned by President Donald Trump. That's according to a CNN report. Um, so... For one, this is not, I don't think this is, you know, just some little small, you know, made a comment. I could, that's not small anyways, but I think this is something major, first and foremost. Um, it seemed to me he's using, like, he's trying to, he, one, he was trying to use his power to maybe influence, you feel me? Um, sporting games, who knows? Sporting outcomes, who, who knows what he's doing? Because this is already. So, um, and among other allegations that Johnson made racist comments about black men, questions the purpose of Black History Month, allegedly argued that black fathers don't remain with their families, 
calling it the real challenge. Um, and he would comment on women's appearances at the embassy and public events. He said that he preferred working with women because they were cheaper, worked harder, and he reportedly would hold gatherings at men's only club, shutting out female diplomats from being able to attend before being told by another diplomat to stop the practice. Um, and this was first reported. Well, look, man, he's friends with Donald Trump, so I believe all everything. This yep. is, this aligns with people that, you know, Donald Trump hang out with. And this is sad. This is sad. This is sad. And uh, this is, and this kind of, because this kind of piggybacks on our, um, on our Friday episode. It's kind of a long, you know, this is, um, Johnson told colleagues February 2018 that Trump asked him to try and secure an open championship at the Trump Turnberry Resort in Scotland. The newspaper resorted. Johnson raised the issue with the Secretary of State for Scotland, but no, op but no open had been uh, scheduled at, at uh, Trump's resort. So, either way, um, but it seems like he's you know it's a gross misuse of his power, and there's gross misconduct, you know, verbal abuse, sexual, um, sexual abuse. And racial comments being made there, you know what I'm saying? So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out with the league and how it plays out with his players and just the general public as well um, to see what comes of this, man. Um, I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah, so th th this will be, um, listen, he borrowed in 2000, but let's see. Uh, let's see what happens, man. Yeah. Oh, and it says here, okay, so apparently he doesn't, he bought him in 2000, um, but he has not played an active role with the Jets since taking the ambassadorship. So pretty much he owns them, but he, really he dealt, yeah, his younger brother um, is a minority owner, and he resumed the, the role of chairman and CEO of the Jets, and he handles the day-to-day -day operations. So Woody Johnson just got his name on a giant, and he... Younger brother, yo, bro, he handled this. Do this for me. I mean, so that's what surprised at none of this. He's probably going to get this swept under the rug. He though. probably is. But again, man, we ain't going to sweep it under the rug. So the next time you hear Woody Johnson's name with something positive, J&J &J every day will be there in your ear like... You would probably never hear nothing positive. Race or allegations. Yeah, okay. He says he's a puppy from a fire. Race or allegations. Said Black History Month don't matter. Wants to work with women. Doubt he's physically active enough to be able to save a puppy. Listen, puppy. listen. He donated bone marrow to help save cancer. Nobody Racial wants that man's bone marrow. Yeah. Listen, he gave a homeless man a sub. That homeless man gonna throw. Hey, yo, you ever hey. try to give homeless people some food? Nah, they don't be wanting it, bro. They be like, I don't want that, bro. I, I feel them, bro. They be like, y'all dirty. Too. They be like, y'all dirty, man. Let's see what y'all do on the regular. I don't want the food, man. Give me the money. I, I'm buy my own food. The SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, will have their spring game. They set out their um their schedule. It's their most detailed. It's the, it's the only conference with a detailed spring schedule. Okay. They have a seven game conference schedule um and with eight week training in January. So we'll see how that goes. But the what was it? The Big Ten. They're still going on time. Conference only. That's what they think. Conference only. I don't think they will, but they think they will go on time. Oh, well, that's good. I guess this is just it. This is gonna be so wacky, man. We're gonna have different. We got football going on, college football going on at different times. I don't think they're gonna, gonna allow have, the fall sports to even happen. They're pushing stuff. Some people pushing it back to spring. Some people aren't pushing it to spring. We have um, conference only seasons. Like this is gonna be just wacky. I'm not even. I'm and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The Big Twelve goes to conference only. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna watch it. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna be cheering for Texas. But man, like, it's pretty damn depressing, man. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not. My heart's not gonna be it. We there's no national championship at the end of the season. You know what I'm saying? Like, conference championship bragging rights are cool, but. And even if your team wins the conference championship, they're going to be like, um, so what? You can't, Short in season. You couldn't have fought for the play. national championship. Exactly. So, we'll see, man. Um, what was that on college? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I it? got MLB. Go ahead. We got gunshots because a boy got pay. Hey, Again, hey. Bets, man. Big extension. <laughs> massive, 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 massive 13-year deal. 
worth more than 380 million that would keep the former American League MVP from reaching free agency this winter, man. So massive deal. Uh, Los Angeles Dodgers fans, I think they should be happy. Uh, they should be rejoicing today, man. A massive deal that's probably going to keep Mookie Betts locked in to uh, to L.A., man. So big, big. Yeah. Yeah, listen, a lot of us questioned why Boston would, uh, and I still question the day, why Boston would, you know, would break up what they had. I get the money was pressing, um, but damn, I think you find a way. You know what I'm saying? I think you find a way to to, 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 to pay that up. Oh, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, with them ads, man, you just got to keep your whole <laughs> laptop. Hey, we trying to watch something on ESPN, this little clip. You got to keep your whole you laptop on. You need that, Jay. Uh-uh. <laughs> and some interesting. So, Toronto Blue Jays, man, this is this is interesting. They're not allowed anyway. Toronto, man. So, um, Canada's government said, hell no. Y'all ain't playing baseball here because we, and shout out to Canada's government for this. We got low cases of COVID. You know what I'm up? Oh, you about to miss it. We got low cases of COVID. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they didn't want um, U.S. folks, you know, to be traveling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you know, putting their um, putting you know Canada in, in danger with the U.S. cases surging. So Toronto reached out to Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, and they tried to play to play their games at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Um, they reached out to the state of Pennsylvania, and you know, uh, I, I believe it was expected that the state of Pennsylvania was going to allow them um, to play the games, but they were actually denied today. Um, and they, the state of Pennsylvania, saying in recent weeks we have seen a significant increase in the number of COVID-19 cases in southwestern Pennsylvania. That's what the Secretary of Health, Dr. Rachel Levine, said. To add travelers to this region for any reason, including for professional sports, events, risk residents, visitors, and members of both teams, we know that, the, that this virus does not discriminate and can even make professional athletes very sick. We are committed to protecting the health and well-being of all of Pennsylvania. So, Toronto Blue Jays still on the hunt. They do not have a home right now, a home field. Uh, one option Buster only said is that they will just go to the opponents, uh, 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 you know, wherever they're playing, or the little series or whatever, they would go to their opponent's state and play a game there like they're the home team. Um, and to be honest with you right now, that seems like the only option because why I don't see any state that would, you know, why would they let Toronto? What? What? Yeah. You give me some money, like well, yo. We no, just, even if you like, give me money, what, this um, doesn't. This doesn't. It doesn't make sense. There's why no need for me to bring an uh, extra, yeah, yeah an extra, extra sports team, that's and that's extra, not one or two people. That's, that's a, over fifty people, maybe. And that's just on that team. Now you got the away. But if you don't even have it, now you got the away team coming. Now you got the. It's just yeah, no. So Toronto Blue Jays, man. I'm not sure what they'll be doing. That's why I was uh, saying. Um, home I don't know why anybody's surprised. I don't even know why they asked Pennsylvania. I don't. I guess because that's the closest to Toronto or whatever, New York and you know, Buffalo and them. But why? Nah, that's not. It's, that's not happening, man. Why would man. I? And I don't blame Toronto. But uh, I don't know where they're gonna play. Neither do I. Baseball should have made bubbles, just like uh, basketball and uh, NFL should definitely make a bubble as well. It's not. It's not okay. Oh man, um, more symbolism for you guys. <laughs> A Black Lives Matter MLB stencil will appear on the pitcher's mound during opening weekend games. The Washington Nationals announced Wednesday. Just thought I should let you guys know that, man. Um, good for them, man. <laughs> Just let you guys know, man. More oh, simple as a man. Good. But, um, man, real quick, uh, before, I don't know if you got anything else, but the NFL, going back to that, they also said that end up mask will be mandated um, in arenas. Uh, they better games. not have no fans in The there. interesting thing is some, so... I guess they're going state by state, so the NFL might allow fans, but some states have already set out. And I think Dolphins said maybe one team said 20% capacity. I know, speaking of Pittsburgh, that's how we should have known, or Toronto should have known they was going to get a hell no from Pittsburgh because they already said no fans at Eagles or Phillies games. Like, the, the teams ain't say that. The state said that. No fans at the game, so... I think it'll be a state-by-state -state basis. 
It depends on what the state wants to do. But I think it's silly. We just keep finding ways to try to 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 get capitalism. You feel me? Like, bro, if you gotta if you gotta wear a mask to get in the stadium and keep the mask on, you don't think going and to the And they're not gonna is, keep it on. They're gonna drink some beer, they're gonna eat, you know what I'm saying? Some that's hot dogs, a, so that's another thing. Are Lizzie, we whatever. are we but that's another question. Are we now are we they're not gonna stop the sell the sale of beer and food, but shouldn't we? That's my thing. Shouldn't we? Because does that not defeat the purpose of making they them shouldn't wear have, a mask? They shouldn't have fans inside the stadium, period. It's mm -hmm. not safe. If you have to go through not uh, feeding them, exactly. first of all, nobody's going to sit there and not, and not be fed for, for three, four hours, three, three, three four, four hours. hours. Yeah. Damn, you're right, you're right, you're right. And then imagine you got kids there you're too, right, sometimes. Right. You can't just have them there without you no can. chicken nuggets or whatever. <laughs> for real. <laughs> you ever had a kid that's hungry near you? <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. So yeah, I don't know what. Um, listen, it's coming. It's, it's around the corner. It's coming soon. The NBA is about to start. Um, I know I'm switching gears back to the NBA real quick. Um, but do you think that they're gonna have us on a 10 second tape delay, or do you think do you think we'll be shown the games live? What are you talking about? Because they we can hear them curse or whatever. Just in case, who knows what's gonna happen? Because this is the first time they ever done something like this. So you think they'll try to, you know, dot cross their T's and dot their eyes and be like, look, let's give them a little 10 second interval <laughs> just in case we gotta edit something out. You think they gonna? I think they're gonna run it live. I think we're going live. They should bro. run it live, and if we hear them, we hear them. I mean, another thing that I've heard is that they're gonna have camera like monitors set up in the stands. For players' families, and it's gonna give them like the the, the in arena experience. You feel me? So they're gonna have a monitor set up in the, up in the stand somewhere, and I guess the family is gonna have a feed to that monitor, so they watching the game like they in the stadium. <laughs> His face is like hell now. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face explaining it because <laughs> his face was like, "Are you serious, bro?" <laughs> Yo, he he sounded so un uh, so what is what is that uninterested? If my just, brother was in the NBA or something, you telling me uh then we got an extra angle from the stands, bro. Yeah, Get out I of think, my face, bro. Like, I think I don't, I don't know. Care. I don't know the specifics, but I think they're talking about setting up monitors. I think CJ unless they got him like every specific player, no. and they just be staring at that one player the whole time. Nah, I think it's just to watch the game to give them the in game experience, man. Whatever oh, they want to do. Man, I'm done, bro. This man's face was like, fool. <laughs> are you telling me this right now? Whatever yeah, they man, want to do. I think do, that baby. just to give him, to make it, listen, I don't know, but I don't know, man. I don't know. That's going to be weird. Um, I just hope the games are on a tape delay. I'm trying to hear all that. I'm yeah, trying to hear all, all the persons. Um, but I mean, listen, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Eight everybody. days away, the 30th. I was going to say, shout out to everybody that's listening, man. Yes, as we come to a close, of man. Of course, Silver Spring and Rockville is, the, is our biggest outpouring. Trying to see Australia. Shout out to hey, y'all. Hey, man, shout out to my man, Big T in Australia. Hey, he, he man, hey, they, I'm going to send it, man, whenever the uh, the post office lets me. Yeah, they they're hating not, on you right now, They're not they're letting not us letting do us international shipping right now. I apologize. We're gonna get out. They, look. They dirt, we, we dirty in America, man. Nobody want to wear a mask over here. It's too I many. know. Australia you don't even not want accept the package right now, bro. It's, you don't even want it right now. Australia is not accepting packages right now from us, but we're gonna try. We'll try it. Matter of fact, I should try it right now. My mom, my mom worked for all that. She tells me yeah, it's it's worth pork, man. They doing it. I hope. I don't know. They sent that back. We'll get it out to you. Though. Shout out to Bowie, Kentucky. Yes, we sir. gotta find out who's in Kentucky. G Bird. Yeah, G Bird out there. Washington, Virginia, Mississippi, that looks like. Yeah, South Haven. South Haven, San Jose, California. Big shout out. Memphis. Long Beach, LBC. <laughs> from the LBC. Speaking, speaking of, speaking of oh, the yeah, one and tonight. only from the LBC. Snoop Dogg is about to murder DMX tonight, I, I'm man. I'm going to tell them. He going Snoop Dogg. Meet you, no, meet, meet you on your side, LBC. too. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm over here trying to tell y'all, man. Wait, Snoop if I play, Dogg is going to... If I play but, DMX, You better not Dogg play none of them. It's going to get Yeah, cut. Oh, yeah. Man. That's a copyright claim off the case. Hey, I'm trying to... I think you can play like 15 seconds of that joint, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we going to play a Snoop Dogg song. I'm going to play it. Nah, I ain't going to... Don't risk it. Don't risk it, bro. Just... 
We in some hot water right now. We trying to get out of it already. Don't even play it. Shout Don't out even to, uh, play it. to Memphis, of course, man. Uh, Chat and Vic C's, man. Y'all always looking out, man. Always, always from them. In town. Nashville, New York. Nah, I went Philadelphia. Went there you go. What is this? Who are they in Philly, man? Philly. Meek Mill. Pakuyama. Meek Mill. Hey. Discussing prison reform at the war. <laughs> Yo, now we gotta talk about Kanye. We gotta talk about Kanye real quick. He said, Meek and Kim discussing prison reform at the world order. Look, I'm not even into the celebrity things like that, son. So when when I was reading the Kanye tweets and he said Kanye at first, I didn't know what that meant. I thought they were telling him to be calm or something. So I'm like, (laughs) I I just brushed past it. I was like, all right, whatever. The next day when they posted the screenshots of Chris's boyfriend or whatever, and it looks just like a calm version. Bro. Kong, bro. Kong Jun or Chris Jun Ung or whatever, bro. Yo, he's a wild. I was guy, floored. I know we floored. Went off, we went off of sports, but man, yeah, that's a man. wild guy. We're shout out to them in Atlanta, and we are out of here. We out. It's J and J every day. Subscribe. Basketball's back on Thursday. Tell subscribe your mom to subscribe next Thursday. Tell your kids to subscribe, man. Subscribe, 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 please. We need y'all. We get rich, y'all get rich. Exactly. You scratch my back, I scratch your back. I get a back, you get a back. I don't know. Some of y'all got some nasty backs. Hey, but the uh, Magic the came back. Scratch, they man. only down by four against the Clippers. Okay. The Wizards still down, but they only down six at halftime to the Nuggets. All right, Wizards. That's how you fight. That's how you fight. Prove us wrong. You're not really bummed. You're not really bums. Nah, they DMX bums. is about to get rolled over. X going to give it to you. He going to give it to you. Hey, I can't wait. Eight o'clock version. But it's JJ every day. Subscribe. We love y'all. We out of here. Peace.